Let's bring you an update on a big story from a few weeks ago. Uh, Lady Susan Hussey has personally met with Ngozi Fulani and apologised for repeatedly asking her where she was really from at a charity reception at Buckingham Palace. Uh, the incident was widely reported at the time and resulted in the Queen's former lady-in-waiting stepping down. Well, Nadira uh, Tudor has uh, been following this, joins us now uh, in the studio. Uh, so, yeah, just first of all, this is a very recent thing. It only happened today. It's very recent and, in fact, the statement was released by the Palace only just over two hours hours ago um, and it does confirm that that meeting did take place at Buckingham Palace this morning between a black domestic abuse campaigner Ngozi Fulani and Lady Susan Hussey who is a British noblewoman known also as Baroness Hussey of North Bradley um, and the reason why this meeting took place was to address an incident that took place and it's fair to say attracted an awful lot of media attention and debate uh, here's a quick recap of what happened now Ngozi Fulani founded a charity called uh, uh, sister space and she was at a reception at Buckingham Palace and she was asked there where she was really from by Lady Hussey uh, that was the late Queen's senior lady-in-waiting and she spoke out about her treatment by Susan Hussey she said she suffered horrific abuse online following the fact that she talked publicly about it and she had to pause her charity's operations uh, with fear of safety and what does the statement actually say then? What does it go on to say? Well, it says a lot of things. I'm just picking out a few bits. At this meeting, it says, filled with warmth and understanding, Lady Susan offered her sincere apologies for the comments that were made and the distress that they caused. And they want to stress that both Miss Fulani and Lady Susan asked now that they be left in peace to rebuild their lives in the wake of an immensely distressing period for them both. Uh, so it seems that both parties want to draw a line under the incident and they're urging the public to do the same. Okay, Nadira, thank you so much. Thank you.